Well, there's no disguising what game we're looking at today. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I was, I was planning to tackle Expedition today. It's the last of the 2009 seven-day roguelike challenge uh, roguelikes we have left to go. Um, but I, I, I open up the manual, and man, it's, it's, it's even more intimidating than I thought. It's impressive as fuck, but it's intimidating. This game is also very, very impressive, but it's not intimidating. It's pretty straightforward. I've played it before. It's, it's easy to understand. The other one I gotta spend about, you know, f- a few hours freaking figuring it out, and then, and then make a few videos, and I just don't have time today. So, we're still putting that one on the back burner. We're gonna get to it eventually. But for today, we're looking at a very, very famous, very, very popular roguelike, Doom the Roguelike. Um, I'm, I'm guessing there's not many people watching this channel who aren't aware of this roguelike, but if you aren't, it is indeed a roguelike based on the old Doom video game uh, that came out in 1993, 94, somewhere in that vicinity. <clears throat> um, not this game, the uh, the original Doom did. Let's, uh, let me get in the proper window. Uh, let me just move this. Um, we are going to have perhaps a problem. No, maybe not. I'm like, is my is my mouse misaligned with yours? It is not. My mouse and your mouse are, in fact, aligned. Okay. That's good news. All right. I'm going to dive in here. Let's press enter. If you enjoy this game, please consider making a donation, etc. Um, we have looked at... This is by Cornell Kizyelovich. We have looked at a few of his games in the past. Uh, Diablo RL, which was based on Diablo. Uh, and Aliens RL, which is based on the Aliens franchise. I loved Aliens RL. If you haven't watched those videos, go check them out. We were on track to win that, except for one missed, mispressed key that crashed the game. Oh, hey, some serious music. Let me just see if... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. All right, I've cranked up... I've cranked down the volume in my ears. Cranked up the volume here. I hope it's not drowning me out. This is pretty interesting. Let me get the uh, game back up. All right, the old sound effects if you're aware of it. Let's try a new game. Uh, I used to always... This is all, apparently my only option. I don't think you can play these other ones until you've beaten it on Hurt Me Plenty, perhaps. But this is the... Uh, this is the difficulty I always played the original Doom. Doom was one of those games back in the day when I had more time that I played in Iron Man mode. I eventually beat all of Doom, 100% of it, without dying once. I just played it over and over and over again until I essentially memorized the levels, which is not something you can do in a roguelike, of course. Alright, we have three choices for our class, unlike the original Doom. We can play a Marine, we can play a Scout, or a Technician. Marines are the backbone of the UAC. Uh, United Army Corps? I don't know. Uh, resilient and hardy. They start with 10 more health points and power-ups. And power-ups they use have a plus 50% duration bonus. Scouts are agile and have the best intel. They are generally 10% faster and inherently know the location of stairs on any given level. Technicians are masters of equipment and tinkering. They use consumables almost instantly and can hack computer maps for tracking data. I think if we're playing Doom, let's play Doom as a Marine. All right. So we do have um, some different choices here um, for, for various uh, abilities we give our character. Incidentally, you can play this in ASCII mode. If you're, if you're really against uh, graphics, there is an ASCII mode that comes innately with it. You can play that. Let's see here. Just a couple of broken ribs. There's nothing to stop me. You've got to have some blah, blah, blah. You're a diehard piece of shit. Ouch. Uh, you'll keep on fighting. Okay, every level of this trait increases your health by 20%. So that's pretty good. How many? I don't know how many points we get. You can also use the keypads, by the way. I'm just using the mouse. Dance. Dance, bone daddy. Have you heard of an itchy... Okay, what is this? Uh, just give me the details. And because of that, you can fire rounds and attack 15% faster with every level. Move 15% faster and get 15% chance to dodge. Woo. Uh, your skin is so hard, you'll shrug off one more point of damage for every level of this trait. Okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Um, you do one more damage than your average marine. Son of a gun. You can fire guns, or your pistols, pardon me, 20% faster and deal one more damage with pistols. I don't care about pistols. Reload. For every level of this trait, you can reload 20% faster. Eagle Eye. You'll increase your chance to hit by two points. Melee accuracy increases by two and three more damage when you're using your hands and slash badass. I guess in these other ones we don't either don't have enough points to elevate them yet, or perhaps they have a yeah. You can see a pre they have prerequisites. Requires Hellrunner. Requires blah blah blah. Badass. 
You're the ultimate badass. Your blood runs so cold. Blah, 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 blah. For each level, your maximum health before decay sets in is 50% higher. I don't know what that means, I'll be honest with you. And you're knocked back one space less. I think out of these, either it's Hellrunner, 15% chance to dodge bullets, or straight up Iron Man. Let's keep it simple. Iron Man. Type a character for your name. This time I'm Sergeant Jeff. Sergeant works this time. The trip was long. You thought it would never end, but hell. A Marine's job is rarely interesting. You hate the UAC. Nothing ever happens here. Now you've got to sit around and wait for your squad mates, who are supposed to check out what happens on Phobos. Not knowing what to do with yourself, you lean back near the comm console and listen for news from your fellow Marines. Suddenly, Hell, what a bloodbath, you hear from the comm. Corpses are everywhere. What happened? Look, there's someone there. Oh no, God! Gunshots. More gunshots. This can't be happening. Help, help, I'm a Jake, where are you? What up? Oh, fuck. Slurp silence. Alright, welcome to Doom and Roguelike. Um, so you can see us, a little space marine there, a little, a little cute, uh, almost like, almost like Japanese RPG type Doom Marine. <laughs> uh, obviously this, this not obviously, apparently this scrolls uh, the map. We can see down here our health, 100%. We have one experience, no, we're at level one, we have 0% experience to get up. We have a pistol that does 2d4 damage, apparently six rounds, out of six possible rounds, we have no armor. We are cautious? Let's press question mark. Controls. Okay. Uh, G pick up. Z swamp. Drop. Show. Uh, let's see here. Most of these are pretty standard things. Alternative fire of equipped weapon if available. Interesting. You gotta love that classic music, man. Show known assemblies. I don't know what that means. All right. Mouse. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, I'm getting back here. Let's try moving over here. I'm assuming it'll interrupt. Should I try using the numpad? Like, will it interrupt my movement if I see something? If I use the numpad, I can probably just move square by square. You, well, you don't have a combat shotgun. No, I was trying to do numb lock. Sorry, there we go. You can use the numpad, obviously. Not obviously, why do I say that? Whoa. I saw somebody. So can we fire at him? F. You see him, he's unhurt. Hit enter to fire, maybe? F again. Boom! He used a fucking med pack? I didn't know they could do that. Alright, we got him. Fuck. Too many of them. Get. Get. Reload. Okay. Get. Reload. Get. How do I use this? Uh, I for inventory? I'm gonna hit enter on that worked. Straightforward. I'm gonna try moving. Um, I might move the screen for a second here, guys. Just uh, bear with me for a second. Um, forgive the fact that the entire screen is gonna shift for you. Sorry about this. But if I do this, I can park the uh, window over here, not have anything obscured, really. And I can play in the big window. Let's do that. Okay. Did I not get this stuff? Pistol's already loaded. Of course it is. Am I stupid? Ouch. Oh. 
I'm gonna stick with my pistol for now, only because, um... Let's use this again. Hi. What is this heal? 15? Great to treat a few burns from, made, from major injuries. Better find his larger cousin. Okay. Let's find out what happens. We're at 99? We're at 100. Okay, well, it does at least 16 points. I didn't know it would do that much. You see a little, um, auto map at the bottom. Incidentally, our mission in this, it's, it's a... The, the dungeon is 24 levels deep. So at least we know where we're headed. Nice yeah, to find some armor, wouldn't it? I'm using mostly my uh, keypads. I'm going to set it down here. Get it, get it. You can bump into doors to open them. Oh, I guess there's the stairs in the center, isn't it? Alright. Greater than. There we go. Holy fuck, there's a chain gunner right beside us. Uh, can I switch to my shotgun? Ouch. Um, you can also press U to bring up stuff you can heal. Was I standing in fucking acid while I did that? Damn it. Alright, our shotgun is out. I didn't... Jesus Christ. C to close doors. Whoa, Jesus. Guys, we may not survive very long here. I heard a door open. Oh. See if he comes out. Will he come to me? He hit a teleporter or something, maybe? If you press C and there's only one door available to close, it automatically knows which one you're trying to close. That's pretty cool. We need health. There's a telepad. We've been hearing that thing activate, so obviously... Oh, I got rid of that ammo, though. Does that acid stay permanently? That's not the case in the original, uh... In the original game. We're not gonna go in the teleporter right now. Fuck that action. this heal? In the game, it's only one. Get? I feel better. I think it is only one. Get a map over here. Oh, fuck. There's something moving. I didn't see what it was. You advanced to level two. Oh, I was like, what happened? Press enter. So we have another point. We can put it into this again. What is, what is this thing? Each... The battlefield is a dance for you. Each first... Sidestep after you move will automatically succeed. Sidestep after your move. I don't know what that means exactly. And that worries me, just given. Uh, I know we can't take this. I was wondering, like, should I take Hellrunner to unlock that specifically? I'm gonna take this. Did I do it? Let's press Shift T and find out. Let's just press T. <laughs> yeah, okay. Iron Man 1, Hell. Runner 1, you do not get your health back when you level up, apparently. Fair enough, I just didn't know it. Alright, so we should have a full map of the level now. Um, I don't, unfortunately, know what the color coding means, so it doesn't exactly help me in that regard. Well, give me more than, uh, maybe it's a random amount. Give me more than, unless I got some health back when I leveled up, I didn't see.
going. It's gonna be like, I don't want to be anywhere near that barrel. So you do get, I don't know what the red stairs mean, does that mean like a special level? You do get, oh fuck, it's either either go through the acid or go down. I'm not ready to go through the acid. I also don't know what the red means. I'm a little scared. I'm not going through acid, so fuck it, I guess we're going down. You enter Hell's Arena! A devilish voice announces, Welcome to Hell's Arena, mortal. You are either very foolish or very brave. Either way, I like it. And so do the crowds. Suddenly you hear screams everywhere. Blood, blood, blood. The voice booms again. Kill all enemies and I shall reward thee. I am not ready for this, guys. Uh, something tells me we're playing this again. <laughs> um, given I don't even have a fucking shotgun, I don't think they can... Uh, does it have anything? I have one round in it. There's no way. I would not have come in here, guys, if I'd have had any clue that this is what this meant. I have a pistol. I'm taking out a fucking caco demon with a pistol. Alright, fair enough. You have fierceful determination? I have fierceful determination and advanced to former human rank. Alright. Sergeant Jeff, level 2 human private marine, was smitten? Might be some uh, language barrier issues here. I was smitten by. A, it should be smitten with. And B, I don't think smitten is the word you want. <laughs> uh, smitten by a caco demon on level 2 of the Phobos base. He wasn't afraid to be hurt plenty. That's obviously the uh, thing. Let's uh, let's try that again. Now that we better. Oh, you can see I have played in the past. Um, Farsden, Sinisak, Sergeant Jeff. Um, let's try one more time. One more game. New game. Hurt me plenty. Marine. I'm gonna try finesse right off the bat. Um, this is... What's his name? Doomstar. Doomstar, the Doom Marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know, we know. This first level might always be the same, I'm not sure. It certainly looks similar, doesn't it? Oh, it's not exactly the same, I don't think. Maybe it is, I don't know. I think some of these trees are in different places. It's nice that it has hints like that, too. It's impressive. Very well done, Mr. Cornell. Let's get this and have it with us. Is there anything on the outside here? Is there any reason to go outside? If there's like a fucking soul sphere or something back here, I'm going to go for it. I'll be... Well, I'll be happy to learn it, won't I? Look at that, I was dodging like a bugger. I haven't hit us once. Use a health kit or something? I heard the I heard a noise. It sounded a bit unusual. Oh! Does it only hold one round? Maybe. Alright, let's try and use our uh, med kit again. Pressing U. We're at 60. Put us up to 88. It might be a random amount, I'm not sure. If not, it's 28. Enough that I shouldn't use it again right now. Really? 
So I guess the uh, the ones with the brown. Did I get hurt? As you can see, it's definitely a different map this time than it was before. We can't go further west. Let's go down where these guys came from. You can certainly hear those flaming skulls. Uh, lost souls, that's what they were called back then. Phobos reletted. Oh, yeah. There's a lever here, but there's nothing to pick up. How do we use a lever? Let's get that. Oh, our health went all the way up past 100. I forgot that potions can do that. How do we use this? Um. Oops, I meant to go down. Tell me if you see the lever thing. Change tactic is with tab, but I don't know what that does. Let's try left clicking our square. Oh, fuck! What? That's possible in this game? that okay i think i'm gonna call the video here but we are gonna come back for one more video um i'm gonna call it here because otherwise we're gonna interrupt another one i didn't even know it was possible like in in doom of course you pull a switch and it, it moves a door uh the idea that it would just make a fucking bunch of monsters appear around you hadn't occurred to me i didn't know it was possible and what's not um so we're gonna try this one more time in a second video tomorrow um we'll go for a half hour that day hopefully we'll get through more than one fucking level that was a bit that was a bit pathetic guys i just didn't know that switch could do that um but i'll see you tomorrow we'll try a bit more of doom rl and hopefully we'll make it a little further uh it's a very important uh, game in the uh, history of games it's certainly uh in the history of roguelikes it's certainly um brought the passion and the uh the roguelike genre to a lot of people who previously had never investigated it um so kudos cornell for making a really accessible and interesting game who was i smitten by this time oh, i was slashed I was slashed by name. I can accept slashed. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Goodbye. Now let's press uh, enter. Doomstar killed by a imp.